Hey everyone, standing here with a 2021 Ram 1500 TRX. Uh, this is a truck for pure psychopaths, but either way, it is a truck, which means it's time to put it through my mountain bike tailgate pad load up test. So while the TRX looks a little different than your average Ram 1500, this demonstration would apply to any Ram 1500. It would also apply to the heavy duty Ram 2500 or 3500 for that matter. Ram trucks are typically available with the Ram box system, which gets you cargo boxes on the bedsides. There's also a multi-function tailgate that can open the normal way and it's hinged on the sides and has a split right here so you can open it uh, you know, that way as well. TRX though isn't available with either of those. Uh, those are more utility oriented features and this truck is more about power and performance. So you can't get it with the Ram box nor can you get it with the multi-function tailgate. This one does have a nice little step right here. So yeah, I'll put your weight into it. Step, oh wow, imagine that someone's off-roaded this thing. Uh, this is nice, it allows you to get into the bed pretty easily. And then when you're done using it, just kick it back up. This one also has a tonneau cover. Nicely damped tailgate. We'll put the cover back. So you've got these two little anchor point things here. You just release them and then snap them back in place. So that one's off. So you drop down the little clamp and then clip both the clamp and the handle back up into the structure there. Looks like one, two, just two parts fold back and then there's a clip. Let's see, I had one of these in the past and yeah, this one looks to be a little bit better quality. Uh, previous Ram 1500 I had, this was just, uh, would come off every time you touched it really, but this one looks okay. Not gonna clip it in place because we don't really need that for this demonstration. So for this demonstration, I will be using this size large Dekine DLX tailgate pad. Uh, Dekine sent this to me since I've been doing a bunch of these videos. I've yet to actually test this one out. I have a size small pad also that's for mid-size trucks. So it'll be nice to see how this thing fits a full-size truck such as the Ram 1500 here. Honestly, I like this pad less and less every time I use it. Maybe if you don't have space, this minimalist design is nice because you can fold it up a little bit smaller than your average pad, but I just don't understand how this design is better than a pad that drapes fully over the tailgate. Um, I, don't, I don't get it. Imagine it cost a kind less to make because there's not a pad on the inside of the tailgate like there is on every other pad that I can think of. But yeah, either way. Okay, this is the first time I'm using this one though, so maybe I should give it a chance. Uh, I just haven't, you kind of have to form it to the tailgate because this outside pad is completely rigid right now. So once I tie it down and form it to the tailgate, I guess it would be a little bit easier to install the second time once it's broken in. It doesn't help that this is the tallest truck on the market.
fit too well. I think the kind already knows that. And I'll explain why in a minute. Uh. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. All right, well, that wasn't exactly pleasant, but here's what we're working with. So I got it on. I really had to ratchet it down though. And here's, here's the thing with that. So something I really like about this pad is that the ends of these straps have this coating on them that keeps them taut, it keeps them rigid. So it makes it really easy for feeding it up and underneath the tailgate, you know, through this, through this little space right here, uh, than it would be with just like a, a floppy thing like this. But that means that to clip these clips down, you can see they've got a little like, lid clamp on them. You have to have this part all the way through or else you can't really, you can't really get the clip to clamp down. See, it just makes it, it doesn't like this one's barely through and it just doesn't really clamp down too well but that means you got to pull these through really far and this tailgate is really thick so especially right here i couldn't really get it through too too nicely i guess we'll say i had to pull on it and i, I don't like to do that because i run the risk of breaking these clamps so this this pad doesn't really fit this truck too well even though it is meant for a full-size truck. And I said that I'd speak on that more because I'm just on the Backcountry website, but Dekine does make a curved version of this pad. You can get it in black or camo. And you can see it's curved and it's meant for, let's see, Ford or, well, they call it Dodge, even though this hasn't been a Dodge product for a decade. Uh, but it's meant for late model Ford or that should say Ram pickups because these trucks apparently do have a curved tailgate. You can kind of see it there. So if you want a Dekine tailgate pad for your Ram 1500 or Ram full-size truck or Ford F-150 or Ford F-series truck, this curved model is actually the one to get because this regular one does not fit too nicely. Anyway though, it would get the job done. And that's key with these pads. It doesn't look very nice on there, but it does allow you to haul your bikes just like any other pad would. Speaking of bikes, let's load my mountain bike on here. Well, obviously it fits. I left the handlebars oriented this way just to touch on one thing, and that's with a bike all the way in this farmost passenger side or outermost position. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Velcro hoops on this thing. So you could hold seven bikes with one all the way out like this. And with the handlebars turned this way, a little bit of contact between the tire and the taillight. Uh, if you were gonna be driving on road to the trailhead, that's not really gonna be an issue, but if you were on a bumpy dirt road, I'd probably not want this to rub on here. So I would turn the handlebars this way, and then you don't have that issue. Of course, if you were to load six more bikes on, then you'd run into the same issue on this side, but on how many occasions are you actually gonna be hauling seven bikes over this pad? Anyway, you've got these Velcro loops, so if you wanted to, you could tie the bikes down. They're pretty easy to use. I don't know if it was a short trip though, I probably wouldn't worry too much. These things would not keep someone from stealing a bike. The only way to keep someone from stealing a bike off your tailgate is to actually run a cable lock through it and lock it to the bed. Anyway though, there you go. This bed is certainly big enough. The bike sits pretty deep in there. All trucks can haul a bike this way. I just do these videos mainly to demonstrate fit 
and to just give you an idea of how everything looks when it's all assembled. Take a look at this guy right here, which is supposed to be for the backup camera. Uh, yeah, that's not really gonna work. So this flap is meant to give you access to the handle of the tailgate, and then you can lock it in place via this little tab here. Not easy to do one-handed. There we go, good enough. Then the idea is that with this flap open, and then your backup camera, yeah. Backup camera is supposed to have a view with that open, but I don't think we're gonna have that. Let's check. Nope. Nah, nah, that's not gonna work. All right, well, these videos are usually pretty uneventful to the point that I sometimes wonder if they're even worth it, but we actually did learn something here. This truck comes with a curved tailgate, and maybe I should have known when I saw that DeKine does make a curved tailgate pad specifically for the Ram and Ford full-size trucks, that this pad, this regular old DLX pad, doesn't really fit it too well. Uh, it works though. The gap between the tailgate and the bed is easy enough to feed the strap through. Um, eh, the design of this pad is a little wonky. I don't love it, to be honest, so it was a little bit cumbersome to get on. Uh, but you do have to factor in that it is brand new, so it's not really formed to the shape of a tailgate yet. Other than that, though, it, yeah, I can tell that it's not really fitted for this curved tailgate because it just doesn't sit really nicely on there, and then the straps are just really ratcheted down in the back. So uh, I think our takeaway from this video, and we actually do have a takeaway, which is nice. Usually these videos just say, yeah, it works. But the takeaway here is that if you're looking for a tailgate pad for a Ram 1500 at least, and you want a Dekine model, definitely go with the curved pad because this non-curved pad doesn't really fit this thing. But either way, if you needed to haul your mountain bike over the tailgate of a Ram 1500, in a pinch, this Dekine DLX pad would work, as would really any other pad. Let's be honest, this isn't rocket science. Thank you for watching.